Hi, I'm Sylvia from Kitchen Creations, and on today's episode, I am making Big Ziti. If you love lasagna, this recipe is quick and easy, same flavor with less the time. Here are my ingredients Italian sausage, ground beef, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, crushed tomatoes, Italian ziti, onion, garlic, sugar, and here are all my spices, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and olive oil. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Add oil to coat the bottom of the pan over medium heat. Add your meat and sear both sides for two to three minutes. After three minutes, flip it over and sear the other side. Now go ahead and crank up the heat to medium high. Now break the meat. After breaking up the meat, let, let the meat cook until no longer pink. Now let's start with our pasta by boiling our water and seasoning it with salt. After the water had come to a boil, go ahead and add the pasta. So let these cook until they are almost al dente. While the meat is cooking, go ahead and start cutting your onion. After chopping our onions, let's check on the meat. Our meat is getting nice and crispy. This is exactly what we want. We want this nice and brown before removing it from the heat. While we're cooking the meat, now it's a perfect time to preheat your oven to 375. After our meat is nice and brown, go ahead and remove it from the heat. And set it aside. Now add the onions. Now cook this down before we add the garlic. Now add your chopped garlic. After cooking the garlic for 20 seconds, add your meat back to the pan. After giving this a good mix, add in your crushed tomatoes. Add your pepper, Italian seasoning, after adding your crushed tomatoes in, go ahead and add your sugar, and this will help with the acidity from the tomatoes. Now we're going to start with our cheese blend. Add your Parmesan cheese in a bowl. Take your mozzarella cheese and grate it. Add your mozzarella cheese in here and just give this a good mix. Now go ahead and set this aside. Now is the time to taste this sauce just to make sure it has all the right seasoning if you think it needs more salt. So I'm just going to taste this. I am going to add a little bit of salt. Give this a good mix, and we'll add this to a bowl. So 
so my pasta is ready. So now just scoop your pasta in with the meat sauce. After adding your pasta to this, go ahead and give this a good mix and set this aside. Oh wow, this looks so good. My mouth is watering and I cannot wait to have a bite. Okay, set this aside. Now take a 9 by 13 dish and spray it with olive oil. Now we're going to put our first layer of pasta on the bottom of the dish. Take your cheese blend and scatter it all over this goodness. Take your ricotta cheese and scoop it right on top. Now add your other layer of pasta. After layering it with the other half, add the rest of your ricotta cheese. And now finish topping it with the rest of your cheese mix. Now place this in your preheated oven and bake it for 35 minutes. My baked ziti is ready and I'm letting it cool off for about five minutes because if I cut into it right now, it will be baked ziti soup and I don't think you guys want soup for supper. Okay, so my baked ziti is done cooling off and I'll go ahead and cut you guys a piece for the taste test. Look at this, it looks so good and my mouth is watering. Let's give you guys the first taste. ground beef and the sausage. Guys, this baked ziti is perfect for a weeknight that you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Just throw this together and bake it and call it dinner. And if you guys have made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.